Spaghetti and meatballs is an American version of a very famous Italian dish. This recipe will be Yulenka's version without pasta and without meat for those who avoid grains for health reasons. Hi, my name is Olenka and welcome to my channel. Enjoy the recipe. For the meatballs, I use vegetables and lentils. You can use any vegetables you like. I use basic soup vegetables, carrots, celery. You decide what flavors you want to bring into this dish. I'm using sprouted lentils. Why do I sprout? I have explained that a lot many times on my Instagram posts. Sprouting and soaking opens up the nutrients that are locked in grains, nuts and seeds. So you might want to do this to just get all the benefits. Secondly, it helps to remove the inhibitors that block the nutrients from absorption so it's a win-win situation and at the same time you achieve a much better flavor when you incorporate sprouting into your daily routine you will find that it's very easy and takes no time you can always sprout more and keep some of the sprouts in the fridge that's how I do it cook them whenever you are ready to make a dish for the instructions how to sprout, I want to refer you to a video on my IGTV about sprouting buckwheat exactly the same way you can sprout quinoa, lentils. make this recipe often. It's one of those recipes that take a lot of time because there are basically three recipes to make in one. We gotta make the tomato sauce, we gotta make the meatballs and we gotta prepare the squash. Spaghetti squash. Yes, this is a type of squash that has a texture of spaghetti pasta. I really like to use it as a replacement in many of my meals. While we don't use grains in the kitchen, this is an excellent replacement for noodles in many dishes. Especially, I find it very helpful for spaghetti recipes. I hope you enjoy it. Let's now bake this babe. You can steam it, you can bake it. Whether you want the noodles to be soft and tender or you want them to be al dente. For al dente, 
I recommend baking, so I'm going to bake mine. Another tip is that you can use zucchini for noodles for this recipe. I just like to be using squash in this particular one, but you can use zucchini noodles they will be just as tasty as the squash with meatballs and with tomato sauce. Adding baked vegetables to this recipe creates more moisture and the no meatballs are way tastier. You can try making them out of just pure lentils. I don't think you like it as much. I recommend to make it half and half. Lentils and vegetables, mix them together and it will create perfect flavor. this dish I make a lot of those no meatballs and I freeze them just like that I recommend to make a whole bunch of them and either you can use them over a few days that's what I also do spaghetti meatballs for three dinners in a row <music> They keep really well in the freezer. You can easily defrost them in a couple of hours. You can make the sauce very quickly because the sauce actually is not a very complicated recipe. But the meatballs, I always make a lot of them. I always freeze them and I have them handy when I want to use them. You guys enjoyed this i have recorded the parts that i talk a little later with this particular recipe because i have recorded the recipe a few weeks ago but i wanted to add some comments here and there to interact with you i would love to hear your feedback what do you think of this recipe and my other recipes if you have any suggestions any questions if you have any requests please comment down below the video let me know what you think i'm doing this all for you to share but i would love to get a little bit of information from you that i can help you better and i can also learn from this process it's my learning process right as well so i love you guys 
and I see you on the next video. Subscribe if you wish to receive notifications about any future videos and leave your comments so I know you are there watching and what exactly you like and enjoy. Bye for now!